Hey, it's Coach Jamila, and welcome to Strategy Sunday. This is the first of a series of videos that I'm going to start putting out every Sunday. I'm calling the series Strategy Sunday, and I'm basically just going to be sharing little tidbits uh, from my own life and experiences that have been beneficial to me and that I hope will uh, be beneficial to you and perhaps help invoke some sort of positive change for you. Now, why strategy? Why Sunday? Okay. So I am a coach, a fitness coach. I've been doing this for almost 10 years now. And in my fitness support groups that I run, I have a theme for every day of the week. And Sundays are strategy Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is the day before Monday, because Monday is when the work week typically starts or the week period typically starts. And so Sunday is a day really where we can take some time and set and put some intention uh, and planning into how we want that week to go. And so Sunday is a really good day to reflect and back on how the previous week went and to really think about what things you want to do differently going forward. And so with these series of videos that I'm going to be putting out, um, I'll be just attacking just one topic, one little tidbit that I'll be sharing with you, maybe as a suggestion for something for you to try for the week. So what's my tidbit for today? Well, my tidbit for today is a marriage tidbit, and it has to do with love notes. Now, as we know, when couples start dating, uh, it's very easy to be super lovey-dovey and things like that, but we all know that when you get married, life starts to happen, and it can be challenging sometimes to maintain that romantic connection. When my husband and I were dating, um, he had to be at work uh, earlier than me, and so I would stay up later and he would go to bed earlier, but then he'd wake up earlier and I'd sleep in longer. So before I went to bed every night, I would write him an email um, and basically in it, I would be outlining all the positive things uh, that I appreciated about him that he had said or done that day. And it was just a, a complete focus on everything good and wonderful about him. So then when he'd wake up in the morning, He'd have this message from me just telling him how he was the sun, the moon, and the stars. And I meant it. It was all real. It was how I felt. And of course, how do you respond when someone just ah, makes you feel so wonderful first thing in the morning, right? And then he in turn would respond with the same type of, um, you know, uh, communication in that he had thought about and dwelled on the things that I had done the day before in our last conversation or throughout the day, things I had said or done. They were very positive and loving. And, and then I'd get that message when I wake up and I'd be like, <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> so anyway, it might sound silly, might sound corny, but it's not because it's so easy to let life and all its minor annoyances and negativity get in the way of your relationship. Uh, and, and, and so it's important that we take the time to stay focused on the positive things about our mate, the positive things about our relationship, the positive things about the interactions that we had, even the small things that they might have done for you the day before. Just a small thank you. I want to thank you for, you know, making my plate and bringing it to me when I was sitting in the office. I thought that was so sweet and I couldn't wait because everybody loves to eat food, right? But little things like that, you might think, oh, what's that? But mentioning something like that in a message and you making a big deal out of it, everybody loves positive reinforcement. When you encourage someone and you tell them something uh, positive that they've done, guess what? They keep doing it. And so that is my suggestion. That is my marriage tidbit is start writing love notes to your mate each evening Take the time to reflect back on the good, the positive, the loving, the romantic things that your mate did for you that day and write it in a message and express your deep appreciation for what they've done and send it. And then, of course, they should reply back with the same thing. And what it does is it gets you back into that um, you know, like the <laughs> giddiness that you had when you were dating and it just provides, breathes new life and reinvigorates the relationship. So that's my tip for the week. I challenge you to start tomorrow and go the next seven days sending love notes to your mate. Please feel free to comment, share, like, and please subscribe if you're, um, if this is on YouTube. And um, I look forward to seeing you next week.